Imagine getting a nice brand new carpet. How are you going to keep it clean? You're probably going to vacuum it, you know, probably going to spill breadcrumbs or crackers here and there. Nothing a good vacuuming won't clean up. But then you decide to have a big party for your birthday and your best friend decides to bring you a nice big cake. But instead of cutting it like a normal person, he smashes you in the face with it and it gets all over that carpet. Or imagine you make a nice big bowl of chili, but instead of serving it to your friends, you accidentally spill it all over the carpet. Now, not only have you spilled that stuff all over your carpet, you decide to leave it there for a few months. Then eventually you walk up to it and realize, oh, hey, I forgot to clean that. Let me just vacuum it. You think it's going to be clean? No, right? You have to really scrub. You probably have to shampoo that carpet and you might even need to get a brand new carpet. Now, imagine that same scenario, but instead of carpet, we're talking about your teeth and your gums. And instead of crap and food spilled everywhere, we're talking about bacteria and plaque. Hey guys, my name is Amanpreet Singh and I'm the founder of Dental Secrets. And deep cleanings versus normal cleanings are one of the biggest debates in dentistry. If your dentist or your hygienist talked about a deep cleaning with you, you're probably wondering, do I really need this? Or can I just get a regular cleaning? I mean, what even is a deep cleaning? A regular cleaning is what you get at your routine visit to your dentist. So every six months, you go get a checkup and then you get your teeth cleaned by your hygienist or even the dentist sometimes, and you're all set to go. Really the only time a deep cleaning is needed is when the dentist or the hygienist finds something wrong with your gums. Kind of like your carpet when your best friend spills cake all over it. Now there's a few specific things the dentist is checking for when they determine you need a deep cleaning versus just a regular cleaning. The first thing is inflammation. The dentist really wants to see how inflamed your gums actually are. So they do this a couple ways. One, they just look at them. They visually just look at your gums and see how how healthy they look. Healthy gums will typically have a light pink look to them and this will vary depending on your race but this is typically the color that we're looking for. And they'll also have the texture similar to an orange peel. We're also checking if your gums have any deep pockets. So when we're doing our exam we're going to check how deep the pocket is around each of your teeth. Typically healthy numbers will be between 1 and 3 and anything more than that is a sign of more inflammation going on. But once in a while you'll have deeper pockets in one specific area and this may not be gum disease, it could be something else that's causing this like a cracked tooth or something and that's why we do other tests as well. Also during this we're checking how much your gums are bleeding. Dude what the heck of course my gums are gonna bleed, you're poking my gums with a sharp metal instrument. Your gums are going to bleed a lot more if they're inflamed. And this is actually one of the most accurate ways of seeing how healthy your gums actually are. We're also looking for tartar that's built up underneath your gums. Tartar is basically clusters of bacteria that has gotten mineralized so that it's kind of hard. And the only way to remove this is at your dental cleaning. You can't remove it with floss or your toothbrush. For a typical cleaning, you have tartar that's built up above your gums. But when you start having tartar built up underneath your gums, that's a sign that you need a deep cleaning. We're also looking at your x-rays. And not only will this show if there's any tartar that's built up underneath your gums, it can also show if you have bone loss. When you have all this inflammation built up and this tartar underneath your gums, it causes your body to undergo a reaction and this eats away at your bone. The more and more this happens, the less stable your teeth are and eventually your teeth will start getting loose. And this is another check to see how healthy your gums are. If your teeth are a little mobile, then that's a sign that you have some inflammation and you might need a deep cleaning. Gum disease starts off as just affecting your gums and this is called gingivitis. When this gets more advanced and we see the signs that we talked about before, this is a sign of periodontitis. Periodontitis is when this disease doesn't just affect your gums, but it affects your bones that surround your teeth as well. And if you don't take care of your teeth and you keep ignoring this, eventually it's going to keep getting worse and you may end up losing your teeth. So once we determine that you need a deep cleaning, we typically schedule it in two visits. We typically do your right side first and then your left side. Or we could do your left side first and your right side, whatever you prefer. During this procedure, we probably are going to numb you up because you don't want to feel us scraping away that tartar that's underneath your gums. Once we get you numbed up, we're going to clean away all that tartar that's underneath your gums. And we do this with specific instruments. And these instruments are designed to only remove that tartar and not harm you in any way. We also have these other instruments called ultrasonic instruments and these instruments can vibrate and they'll shoot water and they can break away all that tartar that's built up as well. And during this appointment you're probably going to have some bleeding and this is normal when you have this much inflammation going on it's really normal to have a lot of bleeding and you'll probably notice it if you ever try to floss your teeth but if you got to this point you probably didn't floss in the first place. But if you try to floss your teeth and you have this much inflammation, your gums will probably bleed. I've also noticed that a lot of patients that need a deep cleaning, they come to me in pain. And they don't realize that the pain that they're having is probably because they need a deep cleaning. They typically think it's one or two spots that are causing the problem. 
and since they haven't been to the dentist in so many years, they probably have a cavity or they just need one tooth taken out. But when I explain to them that all they really need is a deep cleaning, they look at me like they're kind of shocked. Is this guy a real dentist? Also, patients that need this tend to have a really stinky mouth. And you can imagine, not going to the dentist for that many years and not keeping your teeth clean will really add up. Whew, you stink, man! After we do our deep cleaning, we'll typically bring you back in four to six weeks. And this is just for us to see how you're doing. We're gonna do all the same tests we did before, and we're really looking for improvement. Specifically, we wanna see if your gums are less inflamed than they were before, and we wanna see if they just look healthier in general. But this comes a lot from you at home as well. Just because we did a deep cleaning, it doesn't mean that you're automatically gonna improve. You have to improve your home care as well, and you have to really start taking care of your teeth at home. Then if everything's looking good, we'll typically put you on a cleaning recall for three to four months. I like to put people on this recall for at least the first year, and just to see how they're improving, if they're really taking care of their teeth at home, and if they're coming for their visits. And if everything's looking good, we can probably move to a six month recall like a normal patient. The only difference is if you had a deep cleaning in the past, now your visits are called a periodontal maintenance instead of a normal cleaning. And this is more so for the insurance company sake but from now on your cleanings are going to be more expensive than normal so this is some encouragement to start taking care of your teeth earlier thank you guys for watching i hope you liked that video if you had any other questions or anything else you want me to talk about let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't already please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below i'll see you in the next video